Say hey, Justin. Hello. <laughs> Justin, tell them about your experience with our neighbor today. What happened? Uh, they're talking to us? No, the guy. Yeah, they're, he's talking to us. Yeah, he just went and he just started just talking and keeping on all this conversation with Justin. Justin was looking at him like, uh, what the world? And he was just, he's just, he's a little weird, ain't he? Yes. Yeah, like, and it's the one I've been telling y'all about in the previous vlogs. Yeah, that neighbor. Yeah, so it's like kind of awkward. And he sits there and he waits every day just to talk to me and then talk to my kids. So it's getting a little creepy, right? Yeah. It's getting a little creepy, but um, I don't I honestly don't think he means any harm. I just don't think he means any harm. But still, it's still a little creepy. Um, but I'm running leads. It's 34 degrees. It's cold outside. I have to go run leads today. Um, of some people that wanted leads ran before we could actually service their property because they were like, ah, ah, ah before I sign up, you have to come out and you have to physically talk to me. So I'm going to a few people that need to be physically talked to this morning. Um, I kind of like sealed the deal over the phone and I just need to do the in-person visit. So I have on my work shirt and everything. Um, the lighting, the angle, nothing is giving us justice. And it is what it is, it's a vlog channel. Like, I don't care. Like, one thing I love about my vlog channel is you don't have to be picture perfect. Like, you know, like J. Cole said, we're not picture perfect, but we're worth the picture still. That's what he said. I mean, you don't got to be picture perfect, but we still worth the picture still. And that's how I feel about me. You know? I'm still worth the picture. Okay. I'm still worth it. Get into it. Yeah. I've been in the chat. Get into it. Yeah. What? You don't want to be in the camera? Get into it. Yeah. Get in the camera. He don't want to be in camera. Oh, he tired. Hmm. He just don't like being on film, y'all. He don't like y'all. I'm just playing. And then he don't like y'all, but y'all know how teenagers are. They think we're too cool. All right, guys. So we're at the fine eyewear place. This is in Cedar Park. And this is where I got my Chanel glasses. So I wanted to come in here um, to look at some sunglasses. I got my prescription here if I need to use it. And they do have like a mask required mandate. So let's take a look. Hey, 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 how are you? Hello, um, I was just trying to see uh, the different like Chanel, like sunglasses you had and what other brands you had as well. This is sick. They got the Y'all, sorry about the janky lighting, but I got a PTA meeting I didn't even know about that I guess I forgot about. So, a busy day became even busier. Um, I got my workout in. Now I have to rush to this PTA meeting and help vote on something. So, I'm on my way there. Y'all, this is why I be like, vlogging during the week is hard because I'm like this. I'm doing a little Kim, all right? Like, that's my life, the little Kim dance, all right? because there's so much going on and I'm trying to juggle it all. So Kenny was able to come by the house and I'm gonna head over here. I was supposed to be editing my video. So I guess I'll edit my video that needs to go up tonight while I'm at the school. And then after I edit that video that needs to go up tonight, I'll do the voiceover when I leave out. So about time I get back to the house, um, um, the video will be ready to go up. It'll just be like at Hall and After Dark or something. Oh, y'all, I'll tell y'all, I'll be doing 20 million things. I don't lie to y'all, I'll be serious. Like, my life is just zoom, 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 
Okay, that's my life, and I and I love it though. I love it. I live for this, man. And I just thank God for my support system, Kenny, my mom. Because without them, I wouldn't be able to do all the things that I do do, and maybe I do a little bit too much. I know. But anyway, let me get to this meeting, and I'll catch up with y'all later. Hold on. Uh, wait. Hi guys, it's me, Christian. I want to show you something, guys. So I'll choose. We're gonna school. We're gonna. We're gonna do this. We're gonna. We got one dollar and a lot of coins. And we're gonna get. If you have twenty dollars, you can get anything you want. I got my skims on. My skims pajama set. And I'm just going to throw these leggings over it because I gotta drop Justin off at school. Then I gotta. Um, I'm gonna go try out a new coffee place that one of my old co-workers told me about. So I'm gonna go check out that coffee place. And then I'm gonna come home and get ready for the day. But I wanted to show y'all something I'm proud of. Hold on, wait a minute. It's my room, yay. I made my bed. I even make the kids' beds and get the kids into making their bed. Um, because Chelsea said, always wake up, make your bed. You know, my bed ain't fancy or nothing yet. Uh, my new bed's gonna be fancy. This bed ain't fancy. Um, but these pillows are fancy. These is Pier 1 pillows. No, Z Gallery pillows. These Z Gallery pillows. So, I mean, the pillows is fancy. Um, but the stuff on the bed is not fancy. I do want something more fancy going on. Um, let me turn the light on. Yeah, because we're just not fancy. I don't know. Do y'all think this is fancy? I don't know. It looks basic to me. Um, I just need to spruce it up. Brighter colors or something. Just don't seem very fancy. But yeah, I made my bed, did my thing. So my bed is made, you know, I'm feeling good. Kids' beds is made, so it's feeling good today. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this adventure going. All right, y'all, so I dropped Justin off. Um, I got a call from the school. Christian had an amazing day yesterday. So ooh, ooh to Christian. He had an amazing day. I'm so proud of my boo-boo. Um, so now I'm about to go in, try this coffee place. Like the thing is talking to me, like trying to show me exactly where I need to go. It's not that far, which is great. Then I'll just have my coffee while I'm getting ready because um, I got money from Kenny to get me a coffee. I ain't telling what the money was for. Look, I just said, can you give me $20? Because he wanted to pick up the kids. I was like, can you give me $20? He gave me $20. So, you know, it's good when you have a good relationship with your kid's dad, even though he takes care of them. He takes care of them if i ask him for something he will make sure that i have it um but i don't abuse it like i think a lot of women they abuse their situation with their kids fathers and they shouldn't do that like especially if you know your kid's father um may have still may still have feelings for you or may um want their family back or anything like that like and they take advantage of that and like play games with them like i don't play games with kenny Kenny, no, we done. We're not getting back together. It's no chance in heck. I've moved on. He's moved on. And I know he's moved on because I hear about his, his new girlfriend quite often from Grace. And I'm okay with his new girlfriend because Grace really likes his new girlfriend. And she's very sweet to Grace. And I'm cool with that. I'm like, I'm cool with that. As long as it's a good person you bring in my kid's life, I'm fine. Now, if you're with some scrub, little no good girl, and Grace couldn't stand her and she was mean to my kids, oh yeah, it's over. But Kenny is the type that his kids come first before anything. Like anything, anything, anything. And he, if you talk reckless to his kid, you out of the life period. He might beat you up, like seriously, about his kids, okay? He don't play about his. So, yeah, the fact that she, sorry, the lighting messed up. The fact that she's a good person, come on, lighter. The fact that she's a good person, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So, you know, I don't mind. Coffee, me very seriously. <laughs> I love this little thing. This is a bathroom. All right, y'all. So my coffee just about gone. Hold on. Now hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now hold on. <laughs> 
But yeah, my coffee is just about gone. Well, no, I got about half. Little, little, little thing, little thing. It's good too. Now he told me to do the half moon, but the half moon have 470 calories. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You know the work I put in at this gym, doing all this, and like this, and like this, and doing all this? You think I'm going to do it? No. I got the quarter moon. Quarter moon was only 200 something calories. Okay? Sit here trying to think talk. Get half moon. Get half moon. This is why I got this. I've been messing with full moons too long. So I got the quarter moon. All that to be extra just to say I got the quarter moon. But it is good. The coffee is banging, y'all. I'll go there again. Um, it's about the same price as Starbucks, like the five something. And ain't cheap as Dunkin, cause Dunkin is three twenty. No, it was three eighteen at Dunkin. Y'all playing? But I can see myself going there again. It's a good coffee. Whatever their little blend thing they use, it's really good. So I do enjoy it. But I need to get ready for work, cause it's already nine oh seven. I'm supposed to be there by 9.30. Well, I'm supposed to be there at 9 o'clock. Things happen, okay? But I got to be there by 9.30. So, I'm going to change up. Then I'm going to come back in here and show you my outfit of the day. But, yeah, I'm feeling this. Like, y'all see that? Y'all see me? Okay. Okay, see, this is the body I want. I want this body without the, the, the fat. I want the body without the fat. That's why I'm just thinking about just doing the surgery, y'all. Because I like my, my body. I just don't like this. If I could just go get this removed, I'm good. But then it's like, you know, if you put in hard work, this will remove itself. But it won't fully remove itself. I'm still need surgery. But I don't care. But, you know, a little, little nip tuck. A little tuck it in, you know. A little bam. Okay. Move this, put it here, you know. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me stop. But I'm about to get my water out, everything. I love alkaline water. This is 9.5. Helps with the hydration. Take a little fruit cup. This is with only the sugars that are naturally in it. So it's 35 calories. So I take that as a snack. Better about like my food choices and stuff like that. I really am because the food choices make a difference in the gut, in the stomach. And another thing that makes your stomach go down is giving up like sodas. Like even diet sodas is bad for you. Of course, we all know that. But giving up the sodas and drinking more water and drinking like juice, like the low fat juice, you know, and low calorie, no fat juice. Carbonation period just makes the stomach bigger. So I'm even going to have to start cutting back on my um drinks that i like this is what i'm wearing today like i have these shoes on i have not worn i got them like two years ago it's a dress kind of thing from oh goodness what's this from this guy did. so i have that got my purse right there got my hair up like that and then i'm putting my stuff in my gym bag and that's it my boss already like so where are you i'm like i'm on the way i'm on the way bother me i won't work today okay that's how I have you feeling. <laughs> how you gonna tell these jobs what you ain't gonna do? <laughs> you ain't gonna get on my nerves today. You ain't gonna bother me. And you ain't gonna tell me what to do. <laughs> Ooh, we need to get it together, my people. But anyway, let me get to this job um, ASAP. No Rocky. All right. As you can see, I'm exhausted. It's been one heck of a morning. Like, I have no sales on the board. I usually have plenty by now, especially with the starting to get into peak. This is our first week of peak season. Um, and my week actually took off very quickly this week. So I was like, oh, it's gonna be a big fat check. And then yesterday got a little slow. I was like, okay. And then today is like, Rrr! and I'm like, uh uh, come back. Like, I don't know what's going on. Um, but I'm ending up sending out all these quotes and stuff, and I'm, I don't do that. I'm going to close them right here and there. Close them right here and there because, you know, a lot of times people just, they're not about their word. And, you know, what we what I do is not on front of people's mind. They don't be thinking about it. 
That's why it's all. I forgot. I forgot. Call me back. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Call me back. Plus, I ain't never thinking about anybody when I'm in my personal time, like ever, about anything business. So I get it. I get it. So I did my workout, so I'm just gonna eat my dinner. Like this one I'm having, this is just cheese and sausage. And the cheese is like mozzarella. So it's like a mozzarella cheese stick. And I'll catch up with you guys in just a moment so we can end out this vlog. We're getting stuff ready for Grace's teacher, Miss Her. Well, I don't wanna give her name out. But Grace's teacher. Um, so I wanna go through this bath and body work stuff that have been sitting here forever. And I am just going to be giving a lot of it to her <laughs> for her classroom soaps and stuff and sprays and it, not all of it, but some of it. And Grace is about to make her a card as well. And I think I'm going to include some type of candle um, for her too. Um, and this is what I do. Like when I got a whole, whole, whole lot of it and I ain't got nowhere to put it. Gift bags. How you doing? So... We're about yeah that's the only one that can't be given away i'm glad i moved that out the way because that's my um i need to take it downstairs is the watermelon lemonade right yeah i gotta take that one downstairs but the rest of them we can uh make something shake let me move back a little bit you can't really see me because it looks a, just a terrible it is what it is Excuse me. But these are holiday soaps from winter. I never even took them out the wrap. That's crazy. What's this? Oh. Y'all. Money. Like, I guess I had change from a store I went to. Money. Y'all, that's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. You is dead and wrong. Okay. But some of this stuff I did not own. And I know which ones I didn't haul. Like the Bath and Body Works stuff, I know I hauled. But um, non-Bath and Body Works stuff, I didn't haul. So I don't want to uh, part with any of that. But like toasted vanilla chai, I'm going to give her that pocket bag. Found my, y'all, no lie, I swear on God, I've been looking for my keys for three weeks to my other car. I've been looking for my keys. They have been in this bag the whole time. See, I got too much stuff. Finally, my key. I've been looking for these keys, y'all. Tearing my house apart. Sitting in the bag in the corner. If y'all got bags sitting in the corner, go through them. Oh, my goodness. That's ridiculous, Tina. Um, this is eucalyptus and lavender. Never used it, so I'm going to give it to her as well. Um, like, this is one of the things that has to be hauled that I never hauled from, like, Somewhere I went, I don't even know. Um, what's it? Oh, that's white t shirt. No, ma'am. Sorry, you're a cool teach, but ain't nobody, 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 nobody getting like shirt. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm keeping everything else that's in there. So that's that. Uh, the soaps, market peach. We have sea salt and lime, I'm keeping that one. And I have, oh, this is watermelon lemonade. No, cause I bought two watermelon lemonades. That's what that is. So yeah, she got one. I'll share my love of watermelon lemonade. And I think this bag, yeah, is a different collection. So I can't give away none of that either. But we have like juicy watermelon candle from Mainstays. Oh, that smells so good. But I want to give her a three wig bath and body candle. So I'm going to give her a bath and body candle because I have a lot of them from, when was it? You know, candle day. So I'm going to give her one of those. And I got two limoncellos. So I'm going to give her a limoncello as well. But I'm not going to use all these. So might as well. 